Welcome to Kingfield for this FA Trophy tie which sees Woking take on Forest Green Rovers. Graham Baker is forced to make just one change to the team that beat Bishop Stortford last week. Luke Medley replaces cup-tied Matthew Wright. As usual, the Cards will line up in a 4-4-2 formation with Medley partnering Nathaniel Pinney up front. Forest Green Rovers are in the relegation places in Blue Square Premier, but did defeat Rushton and Diamonds on Saturday. They make four changes to their side for this one. And Moses Adimola rolls the ball to Harry Arter as well can get this one underway. Thomas stands over this free kick for Woking and curls it into the back post where Giuseppe So will somehow retrieve it and the shot comes in and that's a good save from Terry Burton. So in the corner in, dangerous and it's just palmed away by the keeper. Arter with the shot back in and it's deflected and Forrest Green eventually clear. Wickets into Harry Arter who tries to look for Nathaniel Pinney on the run over the top. He's held off by Curtis McDonald. Can he get a shot in now, though? Yes, he can. And it's comfortably saved in the end by Terry Burton. Ball forward by Forest Green down this right-hand side. And Isaiah Rankin is trying to get in here. Can he knock it back for Danny Powell? And Hutchinson gets in and clears well. Uh, but the ball's fallen here for Craig Rowcastle, who gets a long shot in. But that's comfortably wide of Ross Warner's goal. Ball falls to Arter in midfield. And he... Knocks it to Tony Sinclair, who will look long for Luke Medley, who's got him behind McDonald, and Burton comes out to clear. It's not convincing. Pinney with the shot back in, and that's going to roll into the net. And Woking are 1-0 up after 15 minutes. Nathaniel Pinney with a calm finish from 40 yards out. And Woking have the lead. Sinclair's ball forward was met by Burton to clear as Luke Medley tried to get in but it fell very kindly for Nathaniel Pinney but he still did excellently to guide the ball into the back of the net and it's 15 minutes gone here and it's Woking 1, Forest Green 0 Craig Rodecastle on the ball he looks for Jared Hodgkiss who manages to go around Sol and get in a shot and that's a comfortable save for Ross Warner but he gathered it well Harry Arter cushions the ball out to Giuseppe Sol who tries to find Luke Medley down the line, and he does. And Medley bursts past his man into the area, gets a cross back, might fall to Moses Anemola! Oh! And he's just put that over from inside the area. He's frustrated with himself for uh, perhaps not hitting the target. But Donald got a touch to Medley's cross in. Anemola tried to guide it home, but just put it over the bar. Ball into Tomi Amiobi, and he finds Danny Powell, who tries to go around Hutchinson. And he's brought down there, and the referee wants a word with Hutchinson. And Hutchinson's going in the book, and he's the third player to do so for Woking, with Pinney and Mark Ricketts already in there. Rodecastle will curl this in, and Hutchinson and Oliver Thorne go up for it. Ball still bouncing around in there, but eventually it goes wide. Curtis McDonald on the ball, and he launches one into the area, and the ball is flicked on, and Rizai Rankin might be in here, but Ross Warner makes a very good block. Rankin's still on the ball here. Can he set someone up for a shot? And he does, but that's wildly into the stands. Ball into Rankin, and Ross Warner did very well to come flying out at him and block the ball. Long kick forward from Terry Burton, and Hutchinson's missed this, and Rankin could be in. Oh, good goalkeeping again from Ross Warner. The ball over the top fell past Hutchinson. Rankin looked like he was in, but Warner did brilliantly to come out and block. Harry Arter with the free kick in there. Oh, and Boardman almost managed to get a vital touch. Forest Green now clear, but Moses Animola takes that down brilliantly. And will tussle his way forward and flicks the ball through to Sol. And the flag's up. Giuseppe Sol tucks it away nicely, but the linesman had his flag up there. Sam Sloma will launch this one into the area, looking for Hutchinson at the back post. And there's some hopeful shouts from a penalty from Woking fans, but that's not going to be given. Here's Adimola on the ball. He will find Harry Arter, who skids the ball into Sloma, and he finds Moses Adimola again. Adimola with the cross in. Hutchinson will look to get onto it and get the header in, but it's over the bar. 
Here's Danny Powell on the ball and he looks for the run of Oliver Thorne and he gets the cross in. But Ross Warner does well to gather again. He's had a fine game. Jared Hodgkiss with the ball into Isaiah Rankin here. Plays a neat one too. Good chance for a shot. And that's well wide. Oliver Thorne picks up the ball. And he's making quite a run here. And he takes the opportunity to shoot. But that's not going to trouble Ross Warner who gathers it well. Ball forward looking for the run of Luke Medley. And that's... Headed away, but Harry Arter picks up on it, and can he now thread this into Sol? He can! It's Giuseppe Sol! Oh, he's just guided that past the post. Excellent ball from Harry Arter. Defence splitting pass, and Sol just tried to guide it into the back of the net, but he couldn't quite manage it. Sol stands over this free kick. He's quite far out, and it's comfortably saved by Terry Burton. Hodgkiss on the ball. Fires in a low cross and Hutchinson slips, which might allow Danny Powell to get in here. And he turns Danny Powell with a shot. Hits as with Thomas. There's cries for handball. Excellent turn from Powell past Hutchinson. In came the shot. And it does strike Thomas on the arm, but I don't think you can give a penalty for that, really. Well, King just trying to survive here. Another chance to get a shot in for Forrest Green, but that's comfortable again for Ross Warner. Here's Ricky Annan on the ball, not long left to go now. And the final whistle goes. And Woking proceed to the second round of the FA Trophy with a 1-0 win over Forest Green Rovers at Kingfield. Nathaniel Pinney's calm finish in the 15th minute from 40 yards with goalkeeper Terry Burton out of his goal was enough to do it. And the Cards will be looking forward to the draw on Monday with great interest.